Hello everyone, I am Jyoti Swarup from CSE section. My roll number is 322 Now I am going to discuss about P and Hall principles in our CS. First, I am discussing about definition of Bayesian Hall principles. The definition is if n Bayesian holes are occupied by n plus 1 or more Bayesians, then at least one Bayesian hole occupied by more than one Bayesian. That means, for example, if there are 9 boxes and 10 numbers need to be filled in that 9 boxes, then uh, one extra box should be filled in those 9 boxes instead. That means any one of the box in that 9 boxes must contain two numbers. So, see another example practically. Suppose a department contains 13 professors, then two of then two of the professors were born in the same month. Actually, we know that there are 12 months in an year, so here m equal to 12. That means the number of pigeon holes equal to number of months. That equal to number of that implies number of pigeon holes equal to 12. And here the number of professors given is 13. That means n equal to 13. So here m is less than n. Generally, we denote pigeon holes with m and pigeons with n. So here m is less than n. So one professor definitely should born in the same 12 months itself. So in any one of the month, two professors were born. So this is the pigeon hole principle. See another example. If five five numbers are chosen from the set 1, 2, 3 and so on up to 8 then prove that 2 of them will add up to 9 first note down the possibilities that uh, whose, uh, whose sum is 9 so see the possibilities 1 comma 8, 2 comma 7, 3 comma 6 and 4 comma 5 these are the 4 possibilities that will sum up to 9 so here m equal to 4 that is number of pigeon holes equal to 4 and here The given number of numbers are 5 so n equal to 5 that is number of pigeons are 5 so it's the, in the same as above problem here also m is less than n so pigeon hole principle is applicable so by pigeon hole principle one pigeon hole must have at least two pigeons so at least two numbers will add up to 9 so this type of problems can be solved by using pigeon hole principle next the extended version of this principle is extended pigeon hole principle. See this one. If n pigeons are assigned to n pigeon, m pigeon holes such that m is smaller smaller than n. That means in above in above definition that is normal uh, normal principle m is somewhat smaller than n. That means the two, two m and n numbers are nearer to each other. But in this case the m is very smaller than comparatively m is very smaller than n so uh, in this case we need to apply extended pigeon hole principle here if n pigeons are assigned to m pigeon holes such that m is very smaller than n then at least one pigeon hole con contains here this function is floor function the floor function means generally the floor function means generally we should take integer uh, less than that uh, decimal value for example, if there is 3.1, the float the float function is 3. If there is 4.2, then it is 4. So at least one pigeon hole contains float function of n minus 1 by m plus 1 pigeons. So see the example. If seven colors are used to paint 50 bicycles, then show that eight of them must have seven color. Here the n is 5. G, sorry, sorry. N is 50. That means number of pigeons is 50 and m is 7. That means number of pigeon holes is 7. Here observe, m is very smaller than n comparatively. So here action at pigeon hole principle should be applied. So floor of n minus 1 by m plus 1. So floor of 50 minus 1 by 7 plus 1. So 49 by 7, that means 7. Floor of 7 also 7 itself. 7 plus 1 is 8. So 8, 8 have same color. So uh, in this case we can solve these problems. Uh, actually we can find uh, the given problem is uh, pigeon hole principle or external pigeon hole principle by observing uh, m and n relation if m is just smaller than n then normal pigeon hole principle can be applied if m is very smaller than n then external pigeon hole principle should be applied 
so next see another example you will get clarity how many friends must have to guarantee that at least five of them will have birthday in the same month here observe the answer has already been given that means five so and uh, actually we know that uh, there are 12 months in a year so um, m is 12 that is number of pigeon holes is 12 and the number of pigeon should be found so uh, as per the above formula that is from extended principle extended pigeon hole principle floor function of n minus 1 by m plus 1 equal to 5 so if i'll go one will go that side so floor function of n minus 1 by 12 equal to 4 uh, we can just remove the floor function and we can send the 12 that's it so n minus 1 equal to 12 into 4 that is 48 so n is finally 49 in this way we can find number of pigeons so this problem is in a reverse way so this is the concept of pigeon hole principles hope you understand it thank you thank you so much